Hello everyone and welcome back to the web penetration testing. Now in the previous videos we covered some of the less common attacks uh, including the session fixation, hijacking a session and uh, basically the brute force attack as well. Now the brute force attack will work in any case, you can always try it. It's not a hundred percent possibility that you will get into someone's account, but it will always work. Now, here is where the real attacks start, and by real I mean the most common attacks, which is the attacks based on injection. So we will be covering some of the exploitations based on injections, such as the SQL injection, the no SQL injection, the XML injection, and the command injection. Now, after all of that, we will also cover the cross-site scripting attack. Those are some of the uh, attacks that you will actually encounter on the internet, on the websites. Most commonly, I believe that uh, you will encounter the SQL injection attack, which is the attack on the database. But before we begin with these attacks, let me just log in first. So, root test 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, the idea behind these attacks based on injection is the interactive web applications that require the user input. Now, they're all very similar since the vulnerability is actually the code itself of the website uh, where you have the user input not filtered well enough. So, if we have a user input where, for example, on some website where we search the online shop, for some of the tools we need. Basically, if you type there the part of the code, it might actually interpret, the website might actually interpret that user input as a part of their code, if it's not filtered enough. Now, by filtered I mean it is excluding some of the uh, characters used in, for example, SQL queries, in uh, JavaScript code, and so on and so on. Now, we will start off with the command ejection, and we will need also to start our, let me just find it, OWASP virtual machine. So, if you have it started already, good. Let me just start mine. While that is doing, let me just check one thing. And that thing is, if we are connected to the internet, we should be, yeah, one fine. Uh, dot .1.5, good. So, let's start off with some of the basic injection types. The first one, as I said, that we will be doing will be the command injection. Now, the command injection, uh, let's say for example, uh, this example we will practically cover in the next lecture, but let's say you have a website that is used for anyone to ping their own machines. So, you have a website, you put in, in the user input your IP address and the website will perform ping the, and then the IP address or the domain name. So as we can see this command ping google.com is executed by the operating system on this machine. Now if you have a website that performs this same exact command, the command is also executing on the operating system of that server's machine which means that our user input, which was the IP address of the machine we wanted to ping on that certain website, was processed into the, uh, into the command of the server in its own terminal. Now, that can be dangerous if, for example, uh, the input, which was the IP address, isn't filtered enough and we can type basically any command and execute it in the server's terminal. The next attack would be the SQL injection or, and the no SQL injection that is basically the attack on the database itself. Now it is also happening when the user is not filtered enough. Uh, it basically allows us to query the database and possibly find something very useful such as a bunch of usernames and passwords. It also could uh, potentially allow us to delete the entire database if we wanted to. Also, the next thing would be the XML injection, which basically is attacking the XML itself. And also, at the end, we will cover the cross-site scripting attack, 
which is basically the attack where we cover uh, where we cover injecting JavaScript code into a web page. So let me just check if our machine is on. If it is, I will log in and then I will continue into the next tutorial where we will start off with the command injection. So that's about it for this tutorial. I just give you a brief view of the in injection attacks and we'll cover each one of them in details in the next lectures. So I hope I see you there and take care. Bye.